In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on the brand new Samsung Galaxy A56. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. You may have just got your Samsung Galaxy A56 and uh, you just want to learn some new tips and tricks or some different things to do on your phone that you didn't know before. Well in this video we're going to be showing you some pretty cool tips and tricks that you might not know. Alright everyone, so we're going to start off with our first tip and this is something that should be activated in your camera right now. This is basically going to be a voice command to take a picture. Say your hands aren't free, say you're holding your kid or you set up your phone on a tripod and you want it to capture a photo. All you're basically going to have to do is say capture and it's going to take a photo. So if your hands are full and you would like to take a photo, that's all you have to say. I believe cheese works as well. Let's go and try that out. Cheese. So yeah, there's a few different things that you guys can say, but I just usually say capture and uh, it takes a photo for you without even having to press the button. Our next tip is that always on display and uh, a lot of people don't know about this still. So let's go ahead and type in always uh, and you guys should see it right there, always on display. Then we're gonna scroll down to always on display and go ahead and turn that on. Uh, it's probably not gonna be on by default for the majority of people out there. I uh, definitely heard a lot of people say they didn't have it on the Galaxy A56, but it definitely is there. Uh, you can take off things like now bar, and you can obviously tap to show. It can automatically show it in dark places. You can have it on always or for scheduled, but this basically just shows you more information while the screen is off. As you guys can see, when I tap it, my battery life is going to pop up, notifications, time, date, and of course, our fingerprint sensor at the bottom of the phone right here is gonna pop up as well. So if you guys wanna turn that on, that is going to be in settings, just type in always on display. Next up, we have something called battery protection, and this is a little bit new, it's a little updated uh, for the Galaxy A56. You're gonna go into your settings, you're gonna scroll all the way down till we get to battery, and we're gonna go out and click on that. Now once you're here, uh, there's something called battery protection, just go ahead and click on that and you can turn it off or on depending on what you want. But we have three different options right here. The first one is basic. So when your battery is charged 100%, charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then charging will start again. This is so that you don't have any battery degradation. Uh, if you leave your phone on the charger overnight, it is actually going to kill your battery. Uh, it is gonna degrade slowly and slowly, so it's not going to hold uh, the 100% battery or 100% of this 5,000 milliamp battery if you keep doing that. So this is a good way to save your battery in the future and have it not degrade. We also have adaptive, uh, basically lets you stop charging at 80% while you're asleep and it switches to basic. And of course we have maximum down here and your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80% as well. You can also bring this all the way up to 85, 90 or 95 percent this is one of the newer features uh, usually we only have 80 percent so it's great to see we have all these other ones right here great to see it next up this is for the people who want a boost of performance out there so you're going to go into settings and you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to device care once you get to device care it's going to show you your memory right here we're going to go ahead and click on that and uh, basically what we have right here really cool is something called RAM Plus. So go ahead and click on that. And as you guys can see, it gives a little description. It says RAM Plus uses your phone's storage space to provide virtual memory. Choose more virtual memory to allow more apps to stay open in the background. Choose less virtual memory to keep more storage space free. So if we want this phone to run a little bit better, a little bit more optimized, uh, we can put it either on four, six, eight, or two. And if you guys want the maximum of this, of course, that's gonna be eight. And to change this, you are going to have to restart your phone. So that's just one of the things that you have to do to get that started, uh, but definitely something to boost the performance of your phone. Next up, we have something called circle to search, and this is activated when you hold the home button. So if you have that swipe up, so you swipe up very, very shortly, or if we have that little home button with the little arrow, the circle and the lines, all you have to do is go and hold that. And basically you're going to draw what you want to search up. And it's going to give you a little description uh, about what you've uh, what you've circled, as you guys can see, and bring up Google Images and certain stuff like that. So if you guys want to learn more about what you're looking at at your phone screen, if you guys are trying to find a product that you see in a video 
or a photo or an article online, this is definitely something very useful. Next up, this is for the person out there that wants the best display possible. If you guys want a more colorful display, if you guys want a more vivid display, what you're gonna go ahead and do is go to settings and we're gonna scroll down to display right here. And we have something called screen mode. And that's gonna be on vivid, I think by default. But the great thing is we have something called advanced settings right here and you can put the vividness higher and higher. So as you guys can see, once we do that, the display just looks a little bit better. In my opinion, it looks more colorful, it looks more crisp. So if you guys wanna try this out for yourself, definitely check it out. Now next up, we have something called AI Select and that's gonna be on your little sidebar right here. This is a new feature uh, that they've put in the UI 7.0 suite. We're gonna go ahead and click on this and basically you're gonna draw around something to select it. So say we wanna go ahead and draw around this. You can set this as your wallpaper. You can choose it to go ahead and uh, copy the text that you're currently looking at, or you can create a GIF. Uh, there's other options right here. You can go ahead and edit it, you can go ahead and pin it, you can copy, you can download that photo or the little screenshot, or you can even share it right there on various platforms. So definitely something very useful. Now this next tip is something that I use very, very often because it's kind of something that annoyed me at first. So what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is go into your drop down bar menu. And as you guys can see, if you swipe down from the right side, you're basically gonna be getting all of your uh, menu stuff. So your flashlight, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And if you go on the left side, we're gonna see our notifications. Now, this is something that has kind of pissed me off on Samsung devices, and I did not know this uh, until today. So if we go ahead and swipe this down, we can go ahead and click the little pencil up there. And then we have something called panel settings. So go ahead and click on that. And instead of it being separate, as you guys can see, it says swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to open the quick settings panel and swipe down from anywhere else on the top of the screen to open the notification panel. If you guys want this just all together, just go ahead and click together, go ahead and back out of this. Now everything is gonna pop up from here, which is something that I like a lot more. I feel it's just a, a lot easier to go ahead and do this, especially with one-handed use. Next up, for anybody out there that wants to optimize their gaming experience, they want the best performance possible, or they want a balanced performance, or maybe just save more battery, uh, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is go into settings. Let's go into settings right here. We're gonna go ahead and type in game booster. So I have it right here, game booster settings. And as you guys can see, we have our game optimization at the top right there. And what you're gonna wanna do if you want the best performance, you're gonna go ahead and set it to performance. Say you wanna save more battery, go ahead and set it to battery saver. So if we want the best performance possible, it's basically gonna max out that graphics uh, settings for you and it's also going to just be uh, the best settings to have the best gaming experience possible. So if you guys are in competitive games like maybe PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile or something like that, this is something that you may want to turn on, especially if you're sort of a hardcore mobile gamer out there. And the last tip I would like to show you is just something kind of cool uh, that just can basically make your phone a little bit faster. Uh, usually, we would have to uh, go all the way down, go to about settings, go into developer options and all that type of stuff. But they have actually set this setting up uh, for your convenience, and it is basically going to be called Reduce animations so go ahead and type in reduce animations if we go ahead and click on this it gives you a little uh, description of what that is it says prevent some screen effects useful if you're sensitive to animations or screen movement so this is basically how it usually looks we have animations like this if you don't want those animations it basically skips over those and you have a quicker experience as you guys can see So if you guys would like to set that up on your phone, again, reduce animations, search in the settings. So those were my tips and tricks on the Samsung Galaxy A56. If you have your own tips and tricks that you figured out, let the people know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear some new tips and tricks. And if you guys enjoyed this video, again, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from Sakurai. Peace out, Tech Gang.